Jenny Lai, uh, research methodologist from the Nielsen Company, uh, who presented a paper on the use of mobile devices, cell phones, smartphones, whatnot, to collect information from survey respondents um, uh, for something called a uh, time use study. So let's just start. What, what is that? How, what is time use study? How's it done? Uh, and sure. where do the cell phones fit? We're, we're basically interested in understanding how people use their time. So in our mobile survey for Life360, we ask questions such as, what are you doing? Where are you? Who are you spending time with? And so on and so forth. And typically, time use surveys are typically administered either using telephone or paper and pencil questionnaire. Mm -hmm. And for the paper and pencil questionnaire, it usually involves a very complex format of a grid for the respondent to jot down their daily activities. Right. So using a mobile device obviously has a clear advantage of using it as a real-time data collection so that it can minimize anticipation bias as well as retrospective bias. For so people are recording things as they happen. Exactly. Right? And, and you're primarily having them answer questions uh, on a little on a form or by responding to a text message? Well, they, uh, when they are supposed to take the mobile survey, and a long reminder will be and it's either on high or silent to allow them to know that it's time to take a survey. Okay, I heard somewhere in this weekend, I think it was actually someone from the Nielsen Company talking about how they you could use you could use the camera and the phone to record information. Is that yes. part of the study too? We asked we asked the respondents to take a picture mm -hmm. of what they were focusing on prior to the start of survey as part of our data collection process. As part of the experiment that, of, that you were doing here or just as part of the usual survey? It's as part of the usual survey. We we wanted to um, basically code uh, the, any themes that we can identify from these pictures and, and, and add any additional information to our data. Now the, the study that you were here to share with other survey researchers was about a cognitive set of cognitive interviews, uh, which for our readers that means surveys about with the respondents about how they experienced the survey, what their experience was. So, what did you learn and, and were there cautions about limitations of this, sure. this method? We conducted cognitive interviews with 11 of our exit panelists from one of the Life360 mm -hmm. studies that we conducted for Microsoft for digital media users. Mm -hmm. And we focus on the findings in three particular areas. Any technical, any difficulties they encounter with the technical features of the mobile device, um, interface design or usability issue with the mobile device, and what is the motivation to comply throughout the data collection period? And we basically learned that it's, it's important to keep in mind that we need to balance the advanced capability of a smartphone with the overall survey task, meaning that we shouldn't overburden the respondent by asking them to learn a, a great deal of the technical features of the smartphone in addition to filling out a mobile survey throughout the day for the data collection process. Okay, I'll, I'll end with a, with a question. Maybe it's a little unfair, uh, but to think of it, but, uh, do you think this, this sort of data collection opens up possibilities for different kinds of research than, than what we've traditionally done? Uh, in, in other realms, uh, you know, aside from the traditional time use studies, I think I think this study basically leveraging the mm -hmm. advancement of technology of mobile devices in addition to the current trend of information sharing for the different types of social media. So absolutely, we should take advantage of whatever is available and and determine whether it's feasible for us to conduct a, a solid study from it. Okay. All right. Well, Jenny, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mark.